Okay, what hey is guys? up? Long time no see. I know y'all are probably like, what is even going on yeah. right now? Because y'all haven't seen us in so long, and we haven't seen each other in, in so, so long. long. <laughs> so, um, we were just talking about the crazy thing that God does. Is like, sometimes when we say something will never happen, God says, watch me. <laughs> yeah. And it happens. And so, for us, we kind of thought, you know. We'd never do a video together. Again. Yeah, or even hang out again. Yeah. Right? There was a lot of stuff, and we were just like, no. But God said yes, and he mm -hmm. said, I need y'all to do this. And, and we're so glad he did. We're so glad he did. So we had a message on our heart tonight we wanted to share because we went through it, and I think a lot of girls go through it, and even guys too. And so, Coaster, why don't you start us <laughs> oh, off? I you got can... it, God. No pressure. <laughs> um. So, yeah, Sadie and I are having a sleepover, hanging out tonight for the first time in a Two long years. time. A long time. And uh, we were just talking about things that we've experienced and things we've gone through and we were like you know what it might be a little hard it might be a little weird it might be a little awkward to share with people but we go through things so we can share with other people and maybe we can help you guys out and help you guys work through stuff too so uh tonight uh, welcome tonight on Sadie and Colby um okay. we are gonna talk about friendships and uh Sadie's gonna tell you what about yeah, right. Okay, so here's the deal. So, you go through high school, and you have some strong friend groups. I think whenever you're in your freshman year, I think we would all say that, you have the most friends ever. You're like, this is awesome. I love high school. It's great. And then as the years go on, you start losing your friends, and people start changing, and things start changing, and you don't know why. And for me and Colby, we experienced this. We met um, at church camp, actually on Twitter, and yeah. I invited her to church camp, and we became friends, and it was such a god in a relationship, and it was awesome. But then we just started letting the enemy take over, and we started, mm -hmm. you know, feeding ourselves lies and making drama out of stuff that shouldn't have been dramatic, and yeah. we started acting like children, and <laughs> we let our friendship die because of that, something that was so god in and something that was so helpful to so many people we just let it die and so helpful for each other because we needed each other mm -hmm. and what we realized is we let the voice of the enemy speak louder than the voice of God mm -hmm. and I think that we were talking like that's what America does and that's not America but the world you know mm -hmm. we let all this bad news in every single day and we just hear the bad news all day every day yeah. instead of letting the light shine and there's truly so much light shining in the world right now. And that's what we realized about our friendship. There was a lot of light shining in our friendship, mm -hmm. but we just didn't take the time to notice that. We just noticed all the bad things. And so for you guys, Colby can start encouraging y'all because what we really want to say is don't let that happen to y'all. Mm -mm. It doesn't have to be a freshman to senior year you lose 20 friends, even though that's typically... It's, you know, it, it sometimes is. it happens. Like, But it doesn't have to be yeah. like that. Yeah, we uh, we experienced this. I've experienced it with other people. She's experienced it with other people. Um, you know, sometimes I think that we just get distracted and we take one little thing and think that it's the end of the world or we take one small thing and think that, like, I could never be friends with them again because they said they didn't like my shoes or, you know, and, like, we allow ourselves to do that and sadly – that's kind of how, like what she was saying, that's kind of how our world is. It's kind of what our generation does. We want things that come easy. We don't want to really have to put in work for things. Mm -hmm. And that's sad. And we, like, we're the people who get to break that. Mm -hmm. And we're the people who get to end that and say, you know what? I'm not just going to give up on a relationship because maybe one thing went wrong or they said something about me that they shouldn't have or I said something about them. And we can't do that because... Jesus doesn't give up on us yeah. when we say and thank the Lord yeah, for hallelujah that. for that one. And so it's like whenever we should be treating our relationships the way Jesus would treat our, you know, his relationships with people. And I've started doing a thing where anytime I meet someone new or I sit down with an old friend or whatever, I'm like, all right, Lord, rather than me seeing this person through like my earthly eyes and trying to pick out something wrong or something flawed or whatever I say let me see them through your eyes and let me appreciate every good thing about them because there are so many mm -hmm. and don't let me get caught up in oh but you know he said this wrong or she said this wrong or whatever I'm like no we're here to love like that's one of the most important commandments is to love one another and it's like 
y'all, this is the good stuff, okay? Yeah. You don't want to be like, don't talk to me. I don't have time for you. Like, yeah. no. We, you know, it's like, no. And how Jesus did it. And the thing is, guys, this is, like, something that I realize is people would tell you that it's okay, and people would tell you that that's normal. Like, I mm-hmm. would tell people the stuff that's going on with me and Colby, and they're like, oh, you know, it's just girls. That's how girls are. That's mm-hmm. how friendships go. They come and go. They change. But, no, God says, no, that's not normal. That's mm-hmm. not what I had in mind mm-hmm. for you. I had so much more planned for you. Go back together and find me, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, forget worrying about all the mess, but find me in the middle of this. Yeah. And we did. Look what happened. And so we're not here to say, look at us, look at what we did. Oh, we're gosh. here to say, we want to help you because I don't want you to ever have to feel or ever have to go through this pain that we had to go through. Mm-hmm. And so if it if this speaks to you, Share it and comment and tell us about it because we need to know that. We need to know that we're helping because the thing is, guys, like she said, we're the people that change this. Mm -hmm. Y'all are the people that change this. Mm -hmm. We are the people of the world, and we have to be atmosphere changers. We have to be the ones that go into place, and people see something different. They're like, what? What's wrong with yeah. you? What are you doing What's exactly? That? What did I just and see? you say, oh, it's the joy of the Lord, Jesus, baby. <laughs> y'all. It is Jesus. So we hope that y'all are having a great night. We're having a great night, and I hope that this speaks to y'all. Yes, we uh, are so excited to hear your guys' feedback. So if there's somebody that you are thinking about as you watch this, text them or call them or send them a selfie and be like, hey, you. Like, <laughs> you know, just be a world changer because – that's what we're supposed to mm-hmm. be. We're supposed to change the world and show people Jesus. And he ain't showing people Jesus by subtweeting them, okay? In no way. So <laughs> text someone, call someone, whatever. and uh, Or even maybe it's looking yourself in the mirror and being like, hey, I forgive you for this or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, do it tonight. Tonight, yes. And tell us about it. Screenshot yeah. in. No, just kidding. You don't have to do that. But if you want to. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, we love you guys so much, and we're just so thankful for what y'all done for me and Colby and everything that y'all have done for each other, and we just hope that this means a lot to y'all. Yes. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs>